hello and welcome to my channel today we are going to realize this makeup look with my summer favorite product makeup product and the first one it is this yuka palette uh, when this was released uh, i was so excited this is my dream palette um, it is such a fun palette especially for the summer for the entire season uh, it doesn't matter for me uh, but yeah uh, if you want to see how I achieve this look and which products I use, please keep on watching. I already prepped my eyes with this Patmograph Intensify Primer. And on top, I used a little bit of this pink powder. It's just to set the eyes a little bit. I don't have very oily lids, so I cannot um, use any eyeshadow without a primer. In, uh, in general, it will crease in about one hour or like less depending if it's very warm it will be less for sure we are going to use this palette for the eyes this is such a fun palette uh, to use especially for the summer i mean for me it's for all the season i do like it very very much when natasha denona came out with this uh, yaka palette i was really really happy it is my dream palette let's say so i do like greens very very much to start by using this Tipu uh, eyeshadow, I'm going to apply this uh, a little bit here on my crease and then blend it out. I'm going to do the same for the other eye. In the, I saw this palette the uh, other days on Sephora US. I think it was half price so i don't know if it's still available i will link if it's anyway from where you can buy it but if it's still available at half price i do highly recommend it is very very fun of course if you like the green colors but i do highly recommend it how it blends how it looks on the eyes i don't know um it is one of my favorite on a flat brush, uh, my refire number 28, I don't want to take this Camu Camu shade and I do want to apply it all over the lid. We are not going to do a matte or matte green eyeshadow, but I'm going to use this as like a base for the glitter shimmery kind of stuff in here. And I do think this Camu Camu, it's kind of pastel, but if you want to use this um, at maximum intensity, you do have to use, I think, a white base for the colors to pop up a little bit better. I build it up two times. This is, I don't know, this is beautiful. I will swatch. Uh, Plantasia, let's say uh, Komorebi, because I want to see which one I use, Makia and then Elysian. Okay, Elysian, it's more, it looks purple, but it's more like a grayish kind of situation. Plantasia, definitely, it's more like a dual chrome. It shifts green, it shifts pinks. These are really, this is Plantasia and this is Elysian, which is really nice. Uh, then we have in here we have Komorebi. Komorebi it's more like a light green which is really pretty. I think these two will be the combo for today. So Komorebi and Plantasia. Uh, definitely Makia is a deeper green but I want to, to be more lighter let's say. I will take it with the finger so this is Komorebi. And I will just press this and of course on top I'm going to use uh, Plantasia. If you are a green lover eyeshadow color, you definitely need this palette in your life. And then in the middle I'm going to take Plantasia. And yes. This is beautiful and I think I'm going to use Plantasia also like uh, for my inner corner and I will take Tipu again and blend 
this situation here a little bit you want to take a combo between this dark green which is calathea and acacia so i'm going to mix that too with my refire 03 and take a little bit of flex also brown and yeah this is definitely going to smoke and you should have something like this and i'll do the same for the other eye i added a little bit of tipu here and blended them together and under and now i will take also plantasia and i will add it to my inner corner this is the makeup eyes i will just uh, wipe the fallout that i have in here and then we'll go on with the foundation now what i have been using um, since summer or since uh, the warm days uh, came up uh, is this lisa eldridge skin tint which you have to shake it uh, this is really nice i didn't expect to like it so much um, I do like the packaging very much, very easy to apply, travel friendly in my opinion and what I like to do is just apply directly to my face um, and then what I do is take this um, kind of brush, this is from House Labs and I'm just like wiping this to my face and it is really really pretty it looks like skin it wears really beautiful and in the summer i usually don't set um or i don't set the skin tint so much i set it under the eyes and a little bit of uh, my forehead um i do like to wear less uh, makeup products let's say especially if it's very very warm uh, so yeah this is I don't know for me it is such a beautiful skin tint um i don't mind i mean it's not full coverage i mean i did like even a little bit my face but it does look beautiful i don't mind showing if you want a little bit more coverage you can mix it with your favorite uh, a concealer um, and i think because the concealer has a little bit more coverage um, then you'll get like not a foundation but a mix that covers uh, what you want to cover and still feel flawless on the face uh, but yeah this for me it is really really pretty so the only thing that i have on my face this i receive it in a gift with purchase this is from dr dennis vitamin c and lactic um now so far i didn't use so much i mean this has seven milliliters and i'm half through but i do like it it doesn't leave my skin greasy it does absorbs uh, directly to the skin now i cannot say if it does something to my skin uh, but i like how it does apply to my skin and how uh, my skin looks after uh, i will keep using it uh, until i um, will finish and then i will see uh, with skincare yeah it's a personal and like trip because <laughs> um, we are all different and uh, what works for me it might not work for you i do have oily skin and um, i usually tend not to layer too much skincare um, but uh, yeah so this is for the face let's say it is very very uh, simple easy i don't do more than this now for bronzer uh, i'm going to use a bronzer and then a blush on top i'm going to use the bronzer from milk makeup this is in shade bake now this is very very easy and uh, i don't know to use you just apply it and then you blend it i do like this uh, the only thing that i do have 
uh, two more of this and sometimes um, it breaks it doesn't roll up uh, anymore so I don't know if this happens to you please tell me what you did to make it work and I will take the same brush that I apply my skin tint and I'm just going to blend this into the skin this gives like the most beautiful uh, I don't know warm to the face I do like it very very much and especially for the summer it does look like I don't know sun kiss tan um, it's really pretty and really simple and to set this because I usually don't set it or don't set it too much I will take this pink powder from Patnograph you can take this color what color you prefer doesn't matter uh, I do like this powder very much uh, and I will just take it with this kind of fluffy brush and I'm just going to like set very very um, subtle or I don't know this is the smoothest powder that I um, tried and I love and I don't know it just looks good on the face it doesn't look cakey I do like that it kind of mattifies the face but it does not uh, like load it with more product I don't feel the powder and I do like it very much to do to wear it like this I don't know with this skin tint with any kind of skin tint foundation this powder from Patmograph uh, works really beautiful um, it is designed to be used under the eyes but in the summer I do take it and use it all over the face with this kind of fluffy brush it is one of my favorite uh, to use and it is I don't know it's very quickly and yeah uh, for the blush I will take this blush from house labs now um, I did bought three of these this is my favorite this is in shade fire moon uh, this can be used as a blush as a bronzer i don't know the formula it is really good i will take it with the same fluffy brush that i um, set my face with powder and i'm just going to apply this on top of the bronzer and you see this is the perfect kind of warm blush slash bronzer uh, that I ever tried. Maybe there there are others on the market. Uh, please tell me in the comments if you try something similar. Uh, but this is perfect. Apply it like this in a very kind of uh, sheer way. Uh, I don't know. I am just um, in love with this, especially with this shade. I do like the formula from um, this blush from our house labs. Uh, so yeah I do I do recommend this for all the season but especially for the summer it's like the perfect blush slash bronzer in um, this kind of powder compact perfect I love it very very much it gives like a beautiful luminosity to the skin it's not matte but it's not glittery I don't know it's just this this shade in particular fire moon this is perfect for this kind of look a recent discovery it is this from Babor. i hope i pronounce it uh, right this is their eyebrow mascara this is in shade 2 medium now i don't do too much to my eyebrows but what i like to do it's like brush them and keep them in place and this acts exactly like a mascara it does add just a little bit of color let's say and i do like how it looks it is very easy and simple to use um and it has like a very uh, i don't know small brush it is really really pretty and very easy to go to the eyebrows it does have a little bit of color it is a little bit lighter than my eyebrows color but i don't mind so this is everything that I kind of do to my eyebrows. I use a brown mascara. This is Max Stack uh, mascara in shade Chestnut. Um, now um, I think this summer you 
or it is a must to wear a colorful mascara not necessarily uh, green or pink or blue but just go with something different than uh, the i don't know the uh, well-known black mascara let's say and this brown it is um, i don't know i do love the formula of this mascara the brush how it does and how it looks on me and i think this is perfect if you want to uh, change your uh, normal black mascara with a uh, something different but not too different uh, if you don't like like a pop of color so this is i don't know the perfect kind of brown mascara uh, this is how it looks uh, one eye with the mascara and without i do like it i don't use false lashes if you are here for a while you know that so for me it's getting the length and the volume out of a mascara it's uh, everything that i need um, so yeah, this is one of my favorite, uh, let's say, is like uh, the look. I will go with the lip combo from MAC. Now I do have here the famous or the viral lipstick, thanks it's MAC. This is in a lustre glass formula, which I love, but I don't love, me personally, on me, I don't love this color by itself. It is a cult favorite, it is the prettiest pink kind of nude situation. Um, I just, on me, I don't love it. I'll just apply it by itself for you to see how it looks on me by itself. So this is thanks it's MAC by itself. It is pretty, maybe it's kind of going with this look. But it's not something that I will wear pink. It's usually not a color that I like. So I will take a lip liner. Uh, this is from MAC. This is in shade Cork. And this is kind of a warm caramel brown shade. I do like this shade from MAC really uh, much. This is how Cork looks on me. Uh, now probably you will say that this will be a completely different color and you're right but it's either use this with some kind of lip liner combo or I, it will be just sitting in my drawer and I will not touch it uh, of course I do have other lipstick and lustre glass that will be like this kind of caramel shade and I could just take that uh, but yeah the point is to Sometimes you use what you have and find solution if you don't like a color or, I don't know, an eyeshadow just to uh, try to manipulate, let's say, uh, a little bit uh, to the color that you want. Uh, so I will just apply this now. This is for me like the perfect kind of nude. I will wear this in this combo cork with Tanks It's MAC. I think it's also going well with this look. Um, I don't know. It is very kind of uh, drawing attention to the eyes, which I like. Um, so yeah, this will be a very quick makeup look. Um, it's very, very easy. I mean, if I weren't to make the eyes, applying only the mascara, skin tint, a little bit of bronzer, uh, blush, lip liner and lipstick and you are good to go it is the perfect kind of summery uh, bronze makeup look let's say and i do love it uh, but i love the entire makeup look and i do love uh, very much this palette if you like this kind of colors uh, if you like natasha denona and yeah i highly recommend this one also the skin tint um i like it so much i think this became my favorite before was the hourglass the hourglass also uh, i use it like half of the bottle i think i use it even in the uh, winter time it is really good it's just apply and you're ready to go uh no fuzz it looks like skin it wears really beautiful so i think hourglass skin tint and lisa eldridge are kind of in the same position uh, I'm just using this because the hourglass, I have it in the lighter uh, shade, um, so it's more suitable for me in the winter time. And this, I took it in the shade T9, which is very uh, good for me now when I'm more tan. 
Now this uh, blush from uh, House Labs, I do highly recommend it, especially in this color, the Fire Moon. Uh, so pretty, flawless. Uh, it gives like a beautiful luminosity. I don't know. It is the perfect blush bronzer for summertime. Uh, it's just perfection. And yeah, the lip combo, I do love it. If you love MAC, um, you can achieve this, I think, with any kind of brand. It doesn't have to be from MAC. Uh, mascara, also, you can use any kind of brown mascara. Uh, but it's just something that I have and I do like them to use them together. So yeah, this was the video for today. Um, tell me in the comments um, what is your go-to... Uh, summer makeup let's say what do you use most um, so um, yeah uh, I will link all the products that I use in the description box if you shop to my links it really helps my channel so I'm very thankful for that uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time bye bye